I did get a phone call a moment ago from Clive. He is going to come in. And uh, so that's one of the reasons why we're late. I was in the middle of starting the broadcast when the Cliver called, and I used my phone to start the broadcast. Can you imagine that? So let me uh, bear with me a second here. I got to get him uh, invited in to the Hangout so that he'll be able to join us. And you're probably going to hear ringing. It's going to be ringing to call him, so don't worry about that. It'll stop. That's the Hangout trying to contact him. And now I got to copy and send him the link because a lot of times he doesn't answer the call out, the Hangout calling him. So I'm multitasking here, folks. So just give me a second. Clive, the watch wrangler. Okay, so I'm sending him the link now. Okay, so that's done. And he'll probably be coming in here in a jiffy. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to get the uh, chat up. Okay, I'm going to get my iPad launched here so that I can go to the chat on the iPad so that I can multitask, triple task, quadruple task, and all those good things. Da, da, da. Here it is. Live. We are live. Um, hmm. Howdy to the chat. How about the code 11 foot? Can't wait. Wow, we've got a bunch of look forward to seeing Clive's watches. Clivers is losing it. Howdy, Craig. 6 a.m. here. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, let me check and see if Clive is in the Hangout window. Um, oh, wait a minute now. I just lost the Hangout window. Um, what happened to the Hangout window? Oh, is it calling him again? Oh, no, he's in. Okay, let me get my headset, Clive. We had some technical difficulties. Gotcha. And I'm going to get the headset on here so I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> so, excuse me. Um, so what do you think? Should we, should we turn the background lights on? Sure, either way. Okay, let me just um, take a look here. Turn those on. There we go. So um, you were going to get some photos ready, right, also? Yes, I do. Yes. I, th I think we're going to go with eight for right now. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do a quick um, watch check. There's the, um, the Grand Seiko with a couple of specks of dust on it. But it's just uh, marching along like it was the other day. That second hand is just smoothing right along. And you notice the um, power indicator's pegged, which it pretty much stays pegged all the time. That thing's very efficient as far as wrist movement and winding it. Um, and then let's go to the side view. There's the side case view so you guys can see the shape of the case. Of course, Clive can't see this, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and then we've got the Cliver in the house. Whoops. And he's got some uh, some liquidation pieces. Yeah, I think we're going to start off with eight. Eight liquidation pieces. And um, what do you want to lead off with? Oh, wait. First, before we do that, I got a comment on a comment from the last show. One of the trolls rang in and um, said... Uh, you know, what's this? You've been, you've been promoting Grand Seiko and getting us all to buy Grand Seikos, and now you say that you're, you're buying a Date 840. And I said, well, if you listened carefully, I said with regard to a power watch, the Date 840 is the way to go. I didn't say go out and buy a Submariner. 
I don't think anybody can go back and look at the uh, transcript and see anywhere that I said go out and buy a steel stunner. I didn't say that. I said buy a Day Date 40 if you want a power watch. I'll still stand by my beautiful spring driver for a tool watch, beater, all around, every day, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, heavy-duty sport watch. But I think we can push a Day Date 40 into a similar role if you're somebody that's eat completely up with class like Clivers and he wears a suit most of the time. I think a Day Date 40 could be, could be uh, pressed into a heavy-duty role in that kind of a situation. But we'll talk about that later. Let's go to the uh, first watch. All right, now I'm going to use screen sharing here. Absolutely. Positively. And let me know if you uh, can see these on the image. Okay, you might want to full screen it. How about this one? Yep. Can you see it now? I'm looking at it. It's next to a quarter. It's a Cartier. Yep, it's Cartier. It's a tank. It's gold cased. Okay. When now, you say gold, 18? Yes, gold cased. So, and let me, or gold clad might be another one. It's not electroplated, but it's, they take a base metal and then they clad gold onto it. Okay. So it's thicker than electroplating. Okay. And notice the blued hands. This is from the 1950s. Now, I have to be honest, I think Vincent Ong, my friend on, of both our channels from Malaysia, I think he's called dibs on it, but we will know on Tuesday. But still, just a couple of pictures of that one. Okay. It looks sharp. What what was the uh, what's the price? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, it was going to thousand dollars plus shipping. And that that's a thin watch. That could be worn in any kind of a situation. Right. And she's held up pretty well over the years. It's also, a, so this is a manual wind Cartier movement from the 1950s. Now, how long have you had that one? I've had, I've had these all for a couple of years. Okay, gotcha. It's a nice looking piece. Now, here's another Cartier. Mm -hmm. This is a Pasha C. Now, it has a date. It has a ETA branded <laughs> movement that has Cartier mark. You know, it's been branded, rebranded by Cartier. Yep. It's about 35 millimeters. Okay. And um, 900 plus shipping. Okay. And what year is that one? Hard to tell. They made this these for a while. Okay. And now you're going to give me a list of these to put in the description once we wrap, right? So everybody yeah. will have exactly it. Exactly right. Okay. Now, the, how about how about something American? <clears throat> okay. This is a Longine Admiral from the 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s. Did you it's say Admiral? Little... Admiral? Yep. Okay. Admiral. Like a five star Admiral. Okay. And, um, and it has five old. stars on it, too. And, yep. Which, you know, technically is an Admiral of the Navy. But. Okay. Now, what's nice about it is it's a little bit oversized. So it's about 38 with the bezel. And look, I know you're not a fan of patina, but look at the patina. This isn't fake patina. This is real. Well, and it still looks good. I mean, it, it just looks like an old watch, That's, but it doesn't look all corroded. And I mean, it doesn't look... Some of them have patina to the point where they look damaged. I mean, this one looks still very usable. And in case you're... Oh, uh, and this one, you know... I'm just asking for a get out price of uh, 600 plus shipping. 600 plus shipping on the long jeans. Okay. Yep. And in case you're wondering that, yes, that is a long jeans clasp on it. And what kind of condition is the bracelet in general in? Uh, bracelet's pretty good. Okay. Pretty tight. Okay. Serviceable. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is a 36 millimeter. It's a Sigma, and it's basically a Calatrava style. It's rose gold. 
Now, is it actual gold or just plated or? No, it is actually rose gold. Really? Yep. Because it looks more like 18 karat gold color, regular yellow gold color. It doesn't no, really it, look it, rose. No, if you, you know, it's just the trick of the light, but it's okay. actually rose gold. Now, also, and this has a French FEF movement in it. Now, is the back gold too? The back is gold. Oh, funny that you mentioned that. Yep, the back is gold. So that's an all gold watch. That is an all gold watch. Well, there you go, folks. You're looking for a gold stunner. And, and what size is the uh, case? 36 millimeters. And what about the, how thick is it? Thin, thin, thin. It's uh, got a little bit of a tiny bubble back. So kind of like 10 mils thick, probably sort of like what my dress watch is. Exactly. Now, it's also, I, now, unisex. Now, one of the things, oh, though, you have to be careful. If you wear this around women, they will get, they'll try to get their hands on it. There you go. Show me the, the dial again. The, flip it, show me the other side again. Yep. That's a good looking watch. It really they, is. How well it, does it run? Um, it was just recently serviced. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wouldn't say Costco sex, but it's probably within six. And it's automatic. It's an automatic. One of the things I like about it is with this, with this French, with this French FEF movement, mm -hmm. you can actually, it has a little funk when it changes the date, a little solid funk. Okay. When it changes. Well, that's a cool watch. So what's the flyover price on that one? Seven hundred dollars plus shipping. Wow, for a, yeah. for an eighteen karat gold watch. Yep, rose gold watch. And what kind of condition is the strap in? Uh, pro well, it's kind of hard to tell. It's vintage, so. Uh, but the clasp and everything works. I mean, it's functional. Clasp works. Yep. So they're not going to have to run out and buy a strap right away. No, absolutely not. And the uh, clasp is not gold. That they did kind of cut back on. Is that it plated one, but, or? Uh, yeah, it is plated. Is it the also, original? Yep. Okay. It is. Actually, you know, Sigma, they're still around, but they just make more wearable medical equipment these days. But Interesting. The, since it's an FEF movement. All right, an, let's let's catch up real quick on the comments here because they've been coming fast and furious in here um wow okay a uh, bunch of comments just give me a second and i'll just i'm going to breeze through them real quick there's a bunch of shout outs uh hello everyone uh greetings from snowy lake freeman in indiana tomorrow wags uh hello again hello uh show us clive okay they're all asking about you that was before you came in we want to see Clive. Forget about you. Okay, I got that. Um, Come on, guys. Please, pre like please, please bring, please bring Clive on. Uh, where's Clive? Okay. Um, howdy to the chat. Um, how about the code 1159? Not sure what that is. I can't wait. Uh, looking forward to seeing Clivers watches. Clivers is losing it. Howdy, Craig. 6 a.m. here. Sharp, sharp suit, Craig. Uh, Clivers isn't losing it. He's got his head on straight. There you go. Uh, what's up, Craig? Let's buy a date 840. We're going to talk about that here in a little while. Uh, Craig, can we have a high beaver content hat for old time's sake? Maybe I'll get a hat here in a, in a minute. Um, GS Diver check. I'll do that while I'm reading these comments. I'll give you a shot of the diver real quick here uh exciting to see vacuum also servicing as a coat rack uh nice pickup uh, franken watch uh that fellow who made that comment is a little slow on the uptake uh did you need a power watch craig aside from the gold gs well, we're going to talk about that. We talked about that a little bit yesterday, the difference between the two. Uh, blue shirt, whatever that means. And we see them gold capped. I guess that was one of those watches you showed. Uh, yes. Nice, nice Cartier, Cartier tank. Uh, isn't that the same as gold plated? I don't think so. It's, it's thicker, isn't it? 
It's thicker, yeah. That tank just exudes class. Muhammad Ali, famous for a 29 mil. And here's a troll says ugly pieces. Here's somebody else says shitters. Yeah. Uh, I believe the amount of gold used is different. Uh, looks vintage. I wouldn't pay $9 for it. I don't know which one he was talking about. But Yankee Doodle probably doesn't have $9 anyway, so we don't have to worry about that issue. Uh, these are all vintage watches, guys. Okay. Uh, somebody says ugly. Somebody else says nice. Somebody says nothing. Somebody says howdy, folks, howdy. Is Craig running a bootleg Tiffany's? Um, howdy from Texas. 25 mil, manual wind. Uh, Rolex, Batman, or Hulk? Um, what about them? Uh, good salesmanship. Any noteworthy pieces so far? We'll do a recap on all of them for those that came in late. At the end here, we'll do a recap. I'll offer $25. Yankee Doodle, he probably doesn't have $25. Automatic or manual. Ask Clivers is, con is consolidating his location. Clivers is maneuvering for a power watch. He's making a power move. We switch back to that, uh, that gold Sigma. Good price for an 18 karat, gold, 18 karat gold watch. Yes, if somebody wants a gold stunner uh, that's affordable, that they can wear in dress situations, I think they should step up on that, Sigma. If I didn't already have my GS, I'd probably be PayPaling, PayPaling the money right now. That's a good, affordable 18 karat gold watch. This is what I'm talking about, folks. You don't need to spend a ton of money to have a, a watch that makes a statement that gets the job done for you. He's, got it, he's already had it serviced. It's ready to go. Uh, oh, I guess he was asking which of those two to buy, and somebody says that's a hard question. I think the Hulk. Here's the deal. Don't buy either one of those. Don't buy these, these overpriced fad watches. You're going to get stuck. Uh, thick and fast. Somebody says Clive planning to get a Daytona now. I hope not. Uh, why the Clive sell-off? We're trying to get him into a date 840, folks. Don't get him sidetracked on, on silly Daytonas. Do an episode with TGV. Uh, very much liking the long jeans. 1159, new uh, Audemars Piguet. Okay, howdy. I don't think Clive really loves the Daytona. How much for the vacuum, <laughs> Clive? That, uh, agreed. If he's interested in the quartz date 8, this is a better option. Yeah, pass on 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 court stuff, court state dates. I, I would just pass on that. I don't like the I don't like the integral bracelet anyway. Have you had any offers on the GS diver? No, no. These are these folks have a all, are all talk, all hat and no cattle. Yep. Those new AP look really nice. How many millimeters is that GS? Too big for my wrist. The the diver's forty four mils. Uh, I think if you have. A seven inch or larger wrist, I think you're okay, but under seven inches, I would say no. Clive could probably make more money as a voiceover actor, narrator, or radio host. He is the voice of, of, of gold. You should say of God. Um, That's hell for a voice of gold any day. Okay, we are caught up on comments, Clivester. What do you have next? Well, let me try to get back for some reason. Oh, there we go. We're seeing the Sigma on screen now. The now, back Leon of it the back of it looks nice too. Yeah, it does. It's a nice watch. Okay, here we go. What's this? This is a Leonidas. Okay. It's a triple date moon face automatic. Now, Leonidas is basically um, was bought by Hoyer. Not okay. Tag Hoyer, long before Tag bought it out. Okay. So it's about 36 millimeters, and okay. it's a working, functional, triple date with a moon face. Cool. Cool. Now, uh, also, like I said, also, all these watches have been worked over, by the way. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, 600, plus, 600 plus shipping on this one. Okay. 600 plus shimp shipping if you want a complicated watch. There you go. Well, yeah, from a veritable brand, actually. And don't so. tell me that there aren't some deals to be had out there for some respectable watches for you to wear. And they could wear this on a daily basis, couldn't they? Oh, they absolutely could. There you go. 
There's the back of it, stainless steel. Now, this is an Omega Seamaster Cosmic. Now, Craig, okay. I know how much you love integrated, yeah. semi integrated bracelets, yeah. but still, uh, this is back when uh, this is like 60s when Omega was making everything a Seamaster. Okay. But like I said, if you like the integrated bracelet look, um, if you like the integrated, and this has also been, again, looked over, worked over by uh, competent work, uh, actually, uh, Clifton's Watch Hospital out here. Okay. I like to have him or uh, Glenn with the uh, old watch company look over all my, service all my watches. This one is $1,000 plus shipping. 1000 plus shipping for the Omega. There you yep. go. All right, folks. You're finding out there's some affordable watches out there. You don't have to pay way too much for a steel stunner. And there is the back of the there's the back of the cosmic. Okay. Now this is an Esca. Now it is it's a bit on the smaller side. It's 34 millimeters. Okay, so those smaller wrist folks, there you go. Blue dial. Uh, the the dial and everything is in original condition. Okay. And if if this was a little bit bigger, you wouldn't be seeing this here tonight. Gotcha. Now Esca. Now the guy who did Esca. If you want to look it up, this guy. If this guy used to be one of the chief designers for Cartier. Then mm -hmm. he left Cartier, went back to Germany, and formed Esca, a little group. Okay. Esca is still around today. It's been bought and sold and so forth and so on. It's part of a conglomeration, I think, in Germany. Okay. But love that blue dial, the original thin hands, that little thin red uh, second hand really is eye-catching on it. Yeah. Oh, um... How thick is that case? Uh, pretty darn, uh, pretty darn thin. Uh, I'd okay. say less than two. All these are cuff dwellers. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, three hundred plus shipping on this one. Three hundred plus shipping, folks. You want something that's got a little bit of class, a little bit of style, but you don't want to break the bank. You want to keep saving up for whatever, or you want to do some investing. And and uh, I would highly recommend buying this over spending ten thousand dollars on a steel sport watch. Rolex, or you can wait for, or you can wait for another watch channel guy to get it, and he'll sell it to you for I don't know fifteen or sixteen hundred if you're lucky. Yeah, these are flyover wholesale prices here. These are these are subscriber only prices. You have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to click on the subscribe, click on the bell. Subscriber only prices, just like the the uh, my uh, GS diver. It's a subscriber only situation. And here's the next one. Here's a Tudor Prince. Now this one is this Wait, one. Okay, is, there it is. Okay. This one is gold cased. Okay, gold cased. Does that and mean they take and they put like a case over top of the case? Exactly right. Yes. Yeah, like some of the Omegas are that way. Exactly. Three hundred. And the gold piece that they put over is kind of thick. I mean, that's not going to yep. wear through. That's and the benefit it's, it's, to that. You can see the gold case along here. Yeah. So yeah, so three hundred plus shipping. Oh my goodness, folks! You, you, those of you that love Tudors, you all been singing the praises of Tudors. Well, here you go. Step up, get a real watch. Does the thing run? Oh yes, it runs. They all run. They've it's all a been good up running up. watch, and it's going to look great. You get a nice strap for that puppy. Get a really attractive strap. Let's see oh, the. It, it has it has a strap for it. Yeah, let's flip it back over. Let's see the front again, the dial. Nice dolphin mm -hmm. hands. And it looks like, does that have loom in the middle of the hands? Is that a little uh, stripe of loom, or is that just black paint or something? Uh, I think it's, I think it, well, no, if it has loom, it is dead loom. Dead, okay. Dead, 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 dead. Gotcha. So this yeah. is a dress watch. Now, how thick is this one? Thin. It's another cuff roller. It's, it's 10 millimeters or less. There you go. So that's, and it's self-winding. That's a nice watch. How much? 300 plus shipping. Oh, my gosh, folks. If somebody doesn't buy that one, I don't know what you guys are waiting on. I don't know what kind of prices you're waiting on. If you don't step up on that one, that Tudor Prince is nice. That's before Tudor made ugly pieces. Well, there you go. It gets my seal of approval. 
triple day for, for that Green kind of money are you kidding me okay so you're going to recap them again okay the cartier is like a thousand dollars plus shipping but i you know i it's tentatively sold well no on tuesday uh the cartier pasha c okay is 900 plus shipping automatic movement okay the long jeans admiral with the glorious glorious patina and okay on you is 700 plus shipping okay sigma solid gold rose i mean solid rose gold yep uh serviced fef movement automatic 700 plus shipping there's back of that the Leonidas. you want an all gold watch folks you know, let, pause on that one one more time. Go back and show the dial and uh, and in the back one more time on that one. Because, I mean, you all want an all gold watch. Uh, you know, to wear when you're dressed up or whatever. There you go. Why not? Exactly. Now, um, I have to go through and find where. The, oh, there we go. Leonidas, tri uh, like I said. Brought to you by the people that brought you Hoyer. Triple date, moon face, automatic, worked, works, functioning, serviced. Shit, how much? Oh, 600 plus shipping. Mm hmm. Okay. Stainless steel. And you're going to remember all these prices. Yeah. Okay. The Omega Automatic Cosmic, $1,000 plus shipping. The Esca is three hundred dollars plus shipping. All original, all minty fresh. Mm -hmm. And the Tudor Prince gold case, three hundred plus shipping. Well, folks, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna show them the uh, diver again. There's the diver. Subscriber only price, five thousand dollars shipped. PayPal friends and family, five thousand shipped. That's subscriber only price, and that's not advertised. It's not listed anywhere. It that's it. That's the way it is. Because I could care less if the deal goes through or not. Because if the deal goes through, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Because I'm going to have to put a bunch of money with that to step up to the date eight forty. And, oh, and if you're hmm. if you're interested in the watches, please feel free to email me at Clive Watch Wrangler at gmail dot com. Uh, payments to be made, PayPal friends and family. Yep. And they will be shipped out priority mail, United yep. States Post. And we're going to put that uh, in the description, too, when we wrap. We'll get we'll right. get that in the description. So um, so, there, so anybody watching after the fact, which most people watch after the fact, uh, they're, they're going to be able to get that information. So, um, so one more time, there's the side view of the uh, Grand Seiko Diver, Titanium, the Titan, nickname there's the uh front of it and um that's what we got so so here's the deal the discussion and we i mentioned this coming into the show the um it was brought up by one of the trolls one of the viewer subscriber trolls that um i've been quote pushing the grand seikos all this time and now i've got my beloved diver up for sale and that that's some kind of a problem You're selling, man. it all used to be about the love and the music now you've just sold out man yeah so so here's the deal here here's the deal i have this stunner here this dress watch which you can just see peeking out from the uh french cuff there um and i have that sport watch and so the thought process, what, what Clive and I were talking about is, is the, the concept of a power watch. And neither one of these watches is really what you would call a power watch. I mean, this one looks nice, looks elegant and all that, but it doesn't hit you over the head with that statement, right, when you, when you uh, walk into the room. Whereas a day date, trust me when I tell you, it is a power watch. Period. Full stop. And so we're looking at the day date 40, and actually Clivers has been has been uh, considering a day date 40. Did you get that link I sent sent you? I did. It's to the watch the nice little uh, was it Gishy on it? And 
that guy that that guy is selling a bunch of those day date forties. It looks like what he's doing is he's gray marketing. It looks like he's getting brand new watches and he's selling them for seventeen percent off. That looks like the situation. Um and I, I actually put the link in the description of this video too. So if you any of you all want to click on that and see all those watches that he's got for sale. And so I'm thinking that you're going to be able to go to an AD. And by the way, this is another reason why you buy the uh, 18 karat yellow gold. It's less money than the white gold and less money than the rose gold. So it's the choice I would want to get anyway, even if they were all the same price, but it's also less money. So it was like 28000 something, right, Clive, for the one with the black dial? Yes. Can you pull that? Well, well I think it's it's twenty eight. Or, yeah, twenty eight or twenty. Can you pull that one up? Do you still have the link? Uh, I'll, give me a second. And it I is in the video enough. description. Yeah, someone already sent me an email about the uh, tutor, so I was responding to that. First. Oh, okay. Well, the, do that first. Do business first. For God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is an iced out Royal Oak like the wrappers wear powered? No, don't buy Royal Oak. It's an ugly watch. I just paid twenty two fifty for it. Yankee Doodle says for what? Uh, nice, thanks, bud. Clive is starting to grow on me. Uh oh. Power Power Shower Watch. There you go. Tutors are not all huge and ugly. Well, there you go. There. Oh, look at that watch. Look at that watch. Cliver's got it up on the screen. Twenty eight nine nine nine. That's a brand new watch. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice little magnification bubble. The guy must be doing um he must be getting these things gray market from some AD. Yep. And flipping them. Now what does that mean? Does that mean that your name's not gonna be on the papers or what are they gonna do about that or who do we not know? Don't know. Don't know. It, they've got that also blanked out on the card, so. Yeah, yeah, sure. They, of course they would. <clears throat> so, I bet you, mm. I bet you an AD would match that price. I bet you could go into an AD and buy that watch brand new. Yeah, but even if they match the price, you'd have to pay sales tax on top of it, too. Not if you buy out of state. Oh, here, oh, look at that. Look at that. See, I bought out of state. That's what I did to get around all that. It even has a sticker. Yeah, I, I, these are brand new watches he's selling. Because he's got a, he, he'll give you whatever you want. He's got a, all of them on there with all different dials and so forth. So clearly he's got a source. Mm. And see, here's how this works, Clive. The ADs, they want to move the gold pieces because that way they can get more of the steel pieces. So they don't mind blowing these out the back door to a guy like this. No, they have to. And they're, they're forbidden to discount. So um, uh, Rolex tells them what they can charge. No, they, they can still uh, discount, Clive. Well, Trust me, they can still discount. On a gold piece, absolutely they can still discount. Not discount like they'd like to discount. They can't do it, you know. They, you know, they. You don't think they'd match this price? Seventeen mm, percent. I don't even think if you had in cash, they wouldn't. But you can always try. You can always try. Absolutely, as you can try. I think you're gonna. I think if I think you're gonna walk away with the watch. What I did the last time I bought a day date, I bought it down in Virginia. I'm in Maryland, and you know, I got I. I talked to the guy for a while. I was wearing a Rolex, you know, and he, he figured I was legit, right? And I was paying cash. And what he did, and of course you're not supposed to do this, is he mailed the box to me. Right. But I walked out of there with the watch on my wrist. Mm. And he mailed the box and papers to me. And, and that's not uncommon to do that. And, and I got around the sales tax that way. And I've done that several times. One time, I bought one down in Chevy Chase. You don't know the DC metro area, do you, or do you, Clive? No, I was there once. In okay. Well, we've got three. 
jurisdictions here. We've got D.C., we've got Maryland, we've got Virginia, all right here together, right? One Rolex I bought in a, at an A.D. right over the D.C. line in D.C. Oh, wait, can I say something real mm -hmm. quick? Here's a, here's, a column from, here's a comment from Brian L.P. Craig didn't sell out because he was never on your team to begin with. There you he's, go. He's team freaking Craig. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. So, so here's the deal. So, um, so I walked over. I, I bought the watch from, this, from the AD in a high-end shopping area right in Chevy Chase, Maryland, right over the D.C. line, actually in, in Chevy Chase, D.C. And he literally um, walked across the street and delivered it to me in, in Maryland, in Chevy Chase, Maryland. He handed it to me, right? And right. so I didn't pay the tax. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, because he's right on the border there. So anyway, there, there are ways to do this. And the tax does matter on a price <laughs> when you get up oh, into that yeah. you get up into that price range. So, um, so yeah, we the whole point of that show was we were talking about power watches, and and here's the deal, folks: if you're waiting to get a real power watch, a serious power watch, but in the meantime you want something to to wear that you can enjoy and that's going to look sharp, that gold watch that that Clive has. I mean, that's a that's an all gold watch for gosh shakes, people for less than a thousand bucks. Are you kidding me? Well, you know, I was doing the I was look the uh, price that from the dealer you're quoting from. Mm -hmm. uh, I was counting, you know, point zero eight five percent. That's that's just a hair short of twenty five hundred dollars on uh, state and municipal sales taxes where I'm from. From yeah, absolutely. Yep. Now, how far are you to the, the to the next state over from you? I'm smack in the middle of Oklahoma, and you may not be aware of this, but we're a fairly large-ish state, so yeah. basically three hours in any direction. So for you, it's a hike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it would be something that would be, I mean, it would be a, sp a specific trip to, to pull that off. So you'd need to make sure that the ADA has the watch and B yep. has an inkling to, to deal. Exactly. Now, TG fan is saying 1997. I don't think I've ever seen a president of the wild, a bunch of date just though. You know, I have to admit, I see, I see uh, presidents. Yeah. I'd have to, where, even in my little corner of the flyover states, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'd have to be a Secret Service man to see more presidents than I see already. Really? Yeah. Well, you're a lot of guys, uh, a lot of guys uh, from the courthouse weren't presidents. Yeah, I don't blame them. <laughs> but they're all thirty-six. I'm thinking, ooh, a forty <laughs> would actually be a nice little. You would trump them. Yeah, you'd trump them all. Yeah. Um. It all de yeah. It all depends on the area that you travel in, as to how frequent you're going to see a day date or the people that you travel with the demographics of the uh, people there aren't that many here in frederick county but down in montgomery county there were a lot of them um let's see what else is, is here bad invest uh bad investment day date only the 36 is a great investment well i don't know why you're saying that none of them are good investments folks here we go okay Let's talk about the investment thing real quick here, folks. For those of you that are challenged when it comes to math, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to me. Okay, so here's the deal on the investment thing. Let's say, let's take $28,000, okay? And, and Clive buys the watch for $28,000, all right? And let's say he's going to keep that watch for... 30 years for, for let, let's say he's going to keep it for 21 years. Let's just make the math easy here. So three times seven, right? So I'm going to take uh, $28,000. We're going to round it off to 28,000. And I'm going to say times two. 
equals, and I'm going to say times 2 equals, because that was um, 2 times 7 years. So now we're up to 14 years in, right? So now right. I'm going to say times 2, because your money should double every 7 years, just you know, for as an investment, right? Okay, so we're looking at $224,000. That's how much this watch is going to cost him. $224,000. So you better like the watch. So here's the thing. We do not buy these watches as investments because he's not going to be able to sell that watch for $224,000 in, 20, in, in uh, what I say, 21 years. Yeah. Uh, the reason he would buy this watch is because he's a power player and because it's going to help him in his day-to-day -day operations and hopefully he's going to end up making a lot more money than $224,000 as a result of this whole thing by doing deals and, and so on and so forth and getting clients and, and, and feeling good about himself and being more productive and all of these things. If none of those things happen, then it turned out to be a really poor, quote, investment. Okay? So... Um, and those of you that say, well, if I buy the watch and I have it five years and I can get my money out of it, you just lost a whole bunch of money. Because you should have no. made money on that money. <laughs> so you're not doing well, math properly. Now, drone enthusiast is saying, I've only seen one present in the wild. I've seen more Seamaster Pros than anything working in Pittsburgh. I'm a decent way from the courthouse, though. Drone enthusiast, it's better that you continue continue that trend and stay the hell away from the courthouse. That's right. Because when you get involved in, in all that, then you're just transferring wealth from you to people like Clive. <laughs> it's called a wealth transference. Wait, on second thought, you should get as close to the courthouse <laughs> as humanly possible. Often. <laughs> Often, yes. Okay, so there's a bunch more... Um, Bunch more comments here. I guess I should go through them real quick. I uh, kind of like the day date white gold better. Day date isn't a, okay. Yeah, I'd skip on the white gold. Um, uh, common was a poor choice of words. Maybe predictable. I don't know what that means. Uh, this used to be the show. Oh, let me stop this damn thing from playing. Okay, there we go. Um, this used to be the show for GS. Now it's turning into Rolex centric show. No, I mean it's we've been we've always talked about Rolex. We, we we're just here's the thing. This particular show is an adjunct to the show yesterday. We were talking about a gold stunner, and and we're going to get to this. There's a question about GS and gold. There are very few Grand Seikos in all gold with a bracelet. It's not an option. So it's not like we can go out and buy something similar to a day date in a Grand Seiko. They don't offer it at this current time. And those gold watches that Steve showed the other day, they're on straps, and they're very expensive. I mean, it, the, the one was 29000 My gosh, it's the same price as a day date on a bracelet. So, sorry, but, you know, I would buy the day date. And also, it was kind of, it's kind of thick. It's a little bit thicker than the day date, the uh, Grand Seiko is. I mean, they they got to deal with some issues as far as their dress watches if they're going to compete. Um... Got to pay tax even on the match, though. I don't know what that means. A nice present in Everose Gold would be a serve. Yeah, I don't like the Everose. Um, much better choice. I'd say, pro okay. Guys, can we address this watch as a president, please? Well, no, it's actually officially called a day date. The bracelet is the president bracelet. If Grand Seiko made an all gold, would that be considered a power watch? Yeah, that's a big <laughs> if. If they made, like, no. the snowflake and all gold? Drone enthusiast. Oh, trust me. I went through a divorce. You lawyers make your cut for sure. <laughs> yeah. The whole system is stacked in their favors, guys. That's the way it works. I like how Cl Clive throws his watches around his desk like they're chump change. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> Still, I don't see a ton of day dates in the wild. Um, Clive, your 401k is on your desk now. Um, yeah. I don't think, I, I, I hope to goodness he's maxing out a Roth IRA every year. 
I hope Clive is doing that. If he isn't, we should just slap him around. Because it's only, it's up to what, 7,000 now? It depends on how old you are. I, I can put 7,000 in now. I think you can only put 6,500 in. So you should be maxing that out every year, Roth IRA, Clive. Please tell me you are. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen a president in the wild, bunch of day just, okay, getting ready to get hit with a snowstorm, a snowstorm in Chicago. They're predicting snow here, and I got a video shoot tomorrow afternoon. That's not good. I don't like driving in the snow. I don't want to get salt all over my car. Is a watch, is a watch, a normal rich guy with particular interest in watches. It's a watch, a normal, normal rich guy would, with no particular interest in watch would buy. I can't read. Well, anybody that, has half a brain would certainly buy the date eight forty or a thirty six depending on the size of your wrist. I'm still not convinced that the forty is the size to go, but Clive has a big wrist, so I think for him definitely. But I got to try one on. I think I'm, cl oh, I'm kind of on the oh, border. Come on, Greg. If Hisham can pull one off, you can pull one off. That's no excuse. Yeah, thirty six. Keep your money. Uh, forty. Lose money a lot after. Again, we're not we're not looking at we're not worried about losing money. This is an expense. If he's buying a watch, he's buying a watch. It's not a question of worrying about. If he has to worry about losing money like that yamoke in the UK that can't afford to move, he's got to possibly pawn one of his watches to move. Then he should have never bought the watches in the first place. Uh, these watches are not for poor people. Okay, we're talking about a day date forty for gosh sakes. Uh, don't let the community of a of a watch or whether or not it's popular to decide whether you get something no one wants it, that watch is not a good enough argument you should buy the correct watch that's right these people don't have any taste you're gonna you're gonna follow their advice these people are weren't wearing big ugly kludgy watches and you're gonna follow their advice i hope not um why don't you buy archie's world time um it's all all them rich oil men. Thirty six mil looks like a woman's watch in today's fat. No, the thirty six mil date eight looks good. Trust me, it looks good. Um, uh, Neil, I guess you've never seen one. If you say the thirty six is too small, because they look great on wrist. Trust me, I wore one for forty years. They look great on on wrist. You take a big hit in depreciation on gold pieces right out of the gate. Again, that's you're, you know, Ray. That's what you know. You know, he's not saying get one from MSRP and pay up front. No. no. Well, it doesn't matter. It, he's still going to take a hit if he buys one for twenty eight thousand bucks and he keeps it for five years and he sells it. He's going to take a serious hit. Absolutely, he is. That's the way it works when you buy luxury items, Ray. It's a luxury good. It's not an investment. Please, people, for God's sake, stop thinking of these watches as investments. That's why you're going to stay broke, stay in your mom's basement, and never make any headway. Uh, anyway, buying an item that doesn't depreciate is just nice attribute of that item. It's not an investment. You're thinking the wrong way, drone. That's why you're broke. You're buying things you cannot afford, and you're justifying it by saying that it's going to hold its value. You should be making money with that money. You should be investing that money in a Roth IRA and making money with, with it, not putting it in a damn watch. 36 mil is, unless you want to buy one of those that we sold, showed earlier in the show. 36 millimeter is the absolute smallest size I could wear. Uh, Montclair, New Jersey in the house. The resale value of a watch is only important if you are a compulsive flipper or if you're prone to having buyer's remorse or if you bought a watch you can't afford. Um, you should no, you should never spend more than a week's salary on a watch, okay? Then it's not a big deal. You're not going to lose money because it's just a week's salary you're, you're, you're throwing at the watch. If you want the day date to be a puck off piece, it has to be yellow gold. We've already, yeah, we've already determined that. Uh, trust me, I went through a divorce. There you go. Yeah, that's the one you read earlier. Buying a GS yeah, is like... Here's, here's something from Captain Zed. Mm -hmm. now, Captain Zed also has... He's got a really killer, and his wife both have killer watch collections, both of them. Mm -hmm. I have a day date 18038. The case is a bit thicker than some other 36 millimeter day dates. The 36 millimeter is not small. Tony freaking Soprano wore a 36 millimeter day date, and it didn't look small. 
No, they don't. They, they look great. I mean, I mean, just go on my my damn channel and look at the videos. I've got a bunch of wrist shots. I got a bunch of videos of it on on wrist. It's and a fantastic also, watch. And also tune in uh, Monday night for Cowgirls Live. That's right. GS is the Lexus of luxury watches. Um, it doesn't compare to a Hyundai. That's right. It's it's all that. Prefer platinum? No. Neil Neil comes up with some stupid comments. I'll tell you what. Uh, wait, Craig. I just got here. Have you gone back to Rolex from GS? Now here's here's another comment from Brian LP. Day date forty is greater than Patek Nautilus any day of the week. Oh, absolutely. It's not even a close call. Um. But just as a dress watch, a gold watch should be on a strap. No, no, we're talking about an all-around power watch that he's going to wear at the pool and the beach, anywhere. This is a beater watch. LBJ, LBJ wore a Rolex president. Is that where the term came from? It's a slang term, term because, yeah, some presidents have worn them. Um, but it's not an official, it's not the name of the watch. The bra bracelet is a president bracelet. Uh hitting us with good old sound financial advice after peddling watches for an hour. Yeah, but they're deals. We're giving you flyover state deals. We're trying to talk you out of, of go, buying one of those steel stunners for $10,000 on your credit card and justifying it because you think it's an investment. We're trying to talk you off the ledge, folks. Um, I think you should buy a complicated reverse <laughs> We're trying to get them to buy a power watch, folks. I would choose 36 mil day date. The gold is loud enough as it is and would, wouldn't want to overdo it. Yeah, but for Clive, I think the 40 would look pretty awesome. He's got to try them both on is what he's got to do. He really has to try them both. Um, yes, and you read this comment about the thickness of the cases. Over the years, they did vary in the thickness of the case slightly, but they're all you know, reasonable. Why are you selling it? Can I see a photo? Selling what? Be specific, folks. We just sold, we just put a bunch of watches up for sale. If you want to see the diver watch, there's my diver watch on the screen right there. There's the side view. There's the front view. If that's what you're asking about. Um, Grand when, Seiko, when you're too much of a bowler to wear an ordinary Seiko. When you, Seiko. When you make a lot of money, you're not... You're not permitted to contribute to Roth IRA. It's called a backdoor IRA, idiot. Get get acclimated and learn the facts before you spout off something stupid. It's called a backdoor IRA, and it is legal. It's a loophole. You can do it. I don't care if you're making $400,000 a year. Now, you're still going to be limited to the amount, depending on your age, how much you can put in each year, but you should max it out each year. So you better get another financial advisor if you're you know, getting idiot advice like that. Um, I have a deposition scheduled. <laughs> Should I wear my 16610? Submariner Day, pre ceramic. 36 is a good uh, dress watch size. No idea about uh, whatever. Uh, Craig, I'm not broke. I'm about to buy another investment property. You're assuming I'm buying a watch to sell. Uh, down the wrong, and I'm not. Anyway, drone. I mean, you know, live in your. He could be selling it down the wong. He might be selling the watches in Chinatown. Li hey, li live in your fantasy world, but you know, just, just, w just know that when you put stupid comments about investments and about all these other things that you make stupid comments about, that everybody can see it. Everybody can see what you're saying. And it's there for the world to see, and, and that's why you're going to stay in the basement broke. Oh, by the way, shout out to all my homies in Fistburg. Uh, by the way, Washington and Jefferson class of 1990. Um, as a wealth manager for over 30, 34 years, thanks, Craig, for recommending the best investment account in the world, the tax-free Roth IRA. There's nothing better. There you go. When you can get all that growth and not pay tax on it down the road... Why wouldn't you do it? Um, what are the other options apart from the day date? We couldn't find any. We searched. We were trying to look at other options. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I, I think that's the best bet. Um, 
I wasn't talking about the watch for Clive. Um, nice shaving, Vid Craig. Well, thank you, thank you. I spent more than a week's pay on a watch, but but didn't lose my mind. Yeah, but you just it's just not a good financial decision. You're just not, you know, you, you'll pay later. You know, like Dave Ramsey says, live like no one else so that later you can live and give like no one else. What he means is if you, while you're young, if you sock away money and invest wisely and let that money work for you over time, time is your ally. Then you come out way ahead of the game. If you just spend everything you make, like most Americans, and go in debt and so on and so forth, then you'll get to be my age and you'll be broke. So it's, it, it, that's all. There's two ways you can go. You can be Craig Ship, or you can be Arch. Never mind. I'm not going to say any other. <laughs> Archie's a lot younger than me, though. He might. He has. To, he still has time. He can turn things around. You can't. Uh-huh. Right. You sure. can with a backdoor Roth IRA. That's what I said earlier. Yes, that's correct. Archie knows everything about backdoors. Uh oh. I think gold day date. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to make that call. Yeah. I was I think gold day date screams, I'm insecure. Well, Yankee Doodle, you wouldn't know because you've never owned one. So you wouldn't know. Uh, Clive, get a solid yellow gold Tudor Pepsi. Um, Who will get the day date first, Craig or Clive? Beautiful GS Titan. There you go. Uh, uh, Craig, you are too rational. Misspelled Craig, but you're too rational. Dave Ramsey is a con artist. Well, there you go. Uh, You need a little dose of Archie. Um, Clive, are you considering a GS as well? Uh, You should check out the Invecta Gold. Okay, so here's the, Craig, seriously, pre-owned Rolex or GS. If I have about 3K to spend, or what about that baby snowflake presage? Are you going back to Rolex for sure? The public needs to know this. Uh, thanks for recommending wet shaving, Craig. I wet shave. Okay. All right. Here's the thing. We, I don't understand why this is so confusing. Grand Seiko doesn't really have an answer to the day date 40. It's not like I'm, I'm going from Grand Seiko to, to Rolex because I like Rolex more or less or anything like that. It's They don't have a, an item that meets that that niche okay they, they don't make it so if we want a a power watch it has to be 18 karat gold we've decided that and it has to make a statement that anybody in the world can see whether they know watches or not and we think that a day date either 36 mil or 40 either one does that now what other watch does if you can tell me a Grand Seiko that'll make that kind of statement, then we can talk. But I'm wearing a, a gold uh, Grand Seiko right now on my wrist. And, um, you know, it, it looks nice. It's elegant. We've talked about it quite extensively. And it serves a purpose as a dress watch, but it's understated which a day date is not. A day date is not understated. Trust me, it's not. It's a lot of things, but it's not understated. So if you want a power watch, if you want to make a statement, that's where the day date comes in. Arguably a 40 mil sub in 18 karat gold. Okay, preferably a pre-ceramic with the nice case uh, or, or a GMT2 with the Jubilee bracelet or an oyster bracelet, but preferably with the Jubilee and eight and all 18 karat gold. This is what we were talking about. So we weren't throwing, I'm not throwing GS under the bus. I mean, here's, here's my GS. It's a beautiful watch, but it's not a, a power watch. It's not, it doesn't make the statement that these 18 karat gold watches that we're talking about make, or that Patek Philippe that we looked at the other day with the all gold bracelet. That's a power watch too. That's a possibility. But I think Clive didn't like the bracelet on that. And, and I think for the same price, he can get a brand new Date 840. I think that's a better move. Your thoughts on all that, Clive? Well, 
Well, yeah, and, and actually, you know, the the 40 has the newer movement, has the ceramic pins. It should stay nice and minty fresh. There should be, it should absolutely eradicate any possibility of bracelet stretch. Oh, yeah, that'll be a lifetime watch. Now, could you live with a watch like that for the rest of your life? Yeah, I could, actually. I very well could. Well, see, that makes it worth it, in my opinion. Because you're still young, and you can get a lot of use out of that watch and a lot of enjoyment. And like I say, it, you, you have said that in some negotiating situations in your business that it would be helpful, correct? Yeah. Well, men check out your watch. Women check out your uh, suit and your shoes. Mm -hmm. But you think that professionally, I mean, you're not just like justifying it by saying that, but you think that professionally there would be instances where that might be of benefit. Yeah. And actually, and the thing is also, um, how do I put it? Um, lower income people would see the gold and say, well, this guy, this guy is, must be doing all right. And also the more well healed people would know, actually what know more about Rolex and realize that you might have some sophistication. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, folks, and this is true. People want to do business with people that are successful. Whether you're hiring a real estate agent, you want the best real estate agent that's selling all the houses in the area because you think they're going to be able to get it done for you. And if you're hiring a lawyer, you want the heavy hitter. You, you want the guy that knows what the hell he's going to doing, that's going to get the job done for you, because it's going to cost you money regardless. You know that. But you might as well win. So if this is one of the things that shows that you're a winner, you know, if, if, if Clive wearing that watch helps, even if it just gives him more confidence in the negotiating and making the deal, that could be the difference of thousands of dollars you know, many thousands of dollars in some cases. So, you know, one correct deal might even pay for the watch. You know, if he's doing some contingency deal or something. So um, I think it's a good move. I think him consolidating, getting rid of a lot of the, the ancillary watches laying around. Oh, not just that. I'm, I'm actually... I am actually depending on consignment a bunch of steel Rolex. Yeah, well, you've got some on consignment now, right? Right. Yeah. Well, I, 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 and here's the thing. We bought these watches, and when I say we, me and my buddies, you know, they all went to Georgetown Prep, and they all had money and, and so on, so they were all buying Rolexes. And we bought these watches back in the day, and... Yes, the first watches we usually bought were usually like a steel Rolex because that's, that's the money we yeah. could scra scrape together, right? And so we bought a Datejust or whatever in steel with an engine turn bezel. That's what I bought, the first watch. But once we could get to the point where we could maneuver into a Day Date or some other gold Rolex, that's what we did. And we usually skipped the, the steel and gold altogether. Because the, where you wanted to be was in the all gold watch. And these, all these people now saying, all these watch experts and all say, oh, no, steel's the way to go and so on and so forth. No, steel was never the way to go. It's not the way to go now. It wasn't the way to go 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. It was never the way to go. We bought it because it was affordable. Now, I wore both. I had a steel sport watch as a beat-around watch, and then I had the gold watch. And I always had a, ro a two-watch rotation like that. And I recommend that. I think that's a good idea. Because there's some times when you're working in the yard or working on the car or whatever that you might not want to wear the day date. You could. They hold up well. But, you, you know, you might want to have a steel watch to slip on. But that's not because it's a steel stunner. That's because it's your, your beat-around watch. So these people have, have gotten off on this tangent where they, oh, my, I don't, I don't want to scratch my case on my sub and all this stuff. And... It's become like some kind of a thing they're worshiping. Um, I think they're on the wrong track. What do you think well, about well, all that, here, Clive? Here, well, here's the thing, though, really. But vintage can be the great equalizer. 
because when you're wearing like a stunning vintage piece, it catches the eye. Oh, absolutely. And especially when you're getting it at flyover prices, when you're getting a deal. And that's going to position you where you can take that extra money that you're not spending on the watch. And like I said, you can invest it wisely. A lot of you folks, I can tell by the comments, I can tell by the comments that a lot of you all are young. I can just tell. And so you've got time on your side. Make, take advantage of that. All right? I no longer really have time on my side, right? I've done what I've done, and, and I'm, my investments are going to continue to grow for another 10 or 20 years or 30 years, however long I live. But I don't have that 40 years, 50 years, 60 years in front of me like you youngsters have. So you youngsters have a great opportunity to create a Roth IRA, max it out each year, and in 20 years' time, you're going to be building wealth, okay? In 30 years' time, you're going to be in a position where you can buy a, a gold day date and not have it affect your world. It'll just be a little tiny blip on the radar screen, right? It won't affect your, your, your world at all. And that's what you want. That's the situation that you want to be in. So be, be patient, don't go for that instant gratification. Delayed gratification, folks. That's what it's about. Um, let's see the comments. Can you, can you run through the comments real quick, Clivester? I can. Uh, okay. Dante is asking, Kyle Jett, why are you a, a peasant? You might be a pheasant. Mm -hmm. Craig, do you make 30000 a week? Get the date 840 already. Colonel Brucey, I don't have a fishing boat, motorcycle, or other toys. That's why I'm justifying paying cash for my first Rolex. Also, the worst, the worst expense of all is a wife or a girlfriend. If you, know, you don't uh, have a prenup, yeah. Yeah. Brian LP, Craig doesn't care for two-tone. He finds it too much of a compromise. Blue Shirt Buddha, the people on the five-year waiting list for a steel protect Nautilus 5711 and 50K would disagree with you, Craig. Well, they're also tying up $50,000. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Okay, the, all these things I said do not apply if you're a, a DECA millionaire, right? If you've got a $10 million net worth, right, buy what you want. And a lot of these people that are buying real expensive Rolexes, like that London, London watch collector guy, you know that guy who buys all the real expensive watches? Right. I, I, oh, bet, you, Michael. I bet you he's like a DECA millionaire, right? I bet you he's got real money. So it's, no, it's, it's not a blip on his radar screen when he goes in and buys a $50,000 watch. It's like you going in and buying a Starbucks coffee, right? And, and, and really, that's who those watches were designed for. That's, that's, they're for the rich. These, these watches were always a gold Patek or something. You know, they, these watches for, were for wealthy people. They were never intended for, for you know... And the average Joe to, to put on his credit card. They'll, they'll take your money. If you've got that high a limit, they'll put it on your credit card. But it's not a good move <laughs> to do that, I don't think. Now, TGV fan 1997 is asking, did Craig create his, all his wealth by founding Craigslist? No, no, no. I was early in the Internet, and I, and I knew about uh, Craigslist and all that. Um, and that ha did help with forming some of the businesses that I did form. Cause I also went after that market in a different way, but no, um, I think it's Craig Newmark, isn't it? Isn't that his name? Newmark or something that started. Yeah. Right. So no, but I got lucky a few times and, 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 and if you, if you work hard and learn about things and, and research things and get out ahead of some things, you'll get lucky occasionally. So that's what now, it's Mr. about. Buddha is making a good point. Coffee is for closers. Unless, of course, but unfortunately, it's way after, it's way after noon, so I can't have coffee right now. But it does sound, kind of sound good right now, but I'll ask now. Yeah. Um. Vegas Milgas says gold watches are for closers. Yeah, I think that you're going... 
I think if you moved into a date aid, if you liquidate a number of your other pieces, you're probably going to have enough money to buy a date aid just with the liquidated pieces. Oh, well, I'm not going to say anything specific, but oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a lateral move for you. It's just a consolidation. Yeah, it's consolidation. And, and like I said, so, and again, what I'm doing is I've actually got some really great deals on vintage. And this isn't my jarb. Mm -hmm. I'm just simply trying to help the people out in the community and just simply give you the, my flyover state get out prices so I can consolidate. And that's the same. That's the same thing I'm doing with the uh, Grand Seiko diver stunner. I'm passing on the fact that I was able to get a really good deal on the watch because I paid cash, mm -hmm. and I got a good deal. So I'm passing that on to one of my subscribers. If one of my subscribers wants to act, okay. If they don't, I just won't do the deal. I don't have to buy the date eight forty right now. No. I can wait a, wait a couple years and let them depreciate a little more and and make a move at a different point in time. I don't have to make any move at all. So, um, so that's the deal. I'm, I'm just, the thing's not advertised or anything. It's not on, on, uh, eBay, you know, it's, uh, I'm not going to pay their big commission and all that stuff. So, uh, I already liquidated the snowflake. It's already gone. So that's the deal. Um, there's not a lot of mystery here, folks. Clive is getting into a power watch. And I think it's a good move. In his well, actually, I'm, I'm just getting out of the still sports stunners. Yeah, but with the idea of, of possibly moving into a power watch. Yes. Yeah, which I think well, is a and good... Thing, yeah. And the, and the thing is, though, um, and, and there, like Kyle Jett was saying something like that. Now, now Kyle, here's something you were suggesting. He's like, I, ha I don't have enough money for... I don't have enough money for a date date, but one of the things we're talking about is, Kyle, I was just selling like a 36 millimeter Explorer for, and I think I was literally selling it for like 3,600 bucks plus shipping. Mm -hmm. If you could find something like that, that's, if you can find a good deal on a used watch, you could use that Explorer one and just have a nice all round watch for a bargain, basically something along those lines until, until that, until you're able to afford the day date, until your um, earning yeah. power, once your knowledge base. Yeah, he wants you, what you want to do if you're young, and, I, and I, like I say, I'm, I'm assuming just from the comments that a lot of you folks are young. What you want to do is, is you want to position yourself so that you're going to win financially. And that's going to mean learning whatever you can about whatever you're passionate about that you can turn into money. That, that you can earn money at something. Your income is your biggest wealth-building tool. That and investing like we've talked about. And, of course, you need an income to invest. And so find something that you're passionate about that you can do, that you will enjoy doing, that you can make some freaking money at. And trust me, it's not being a YouTube star. <laughs> You need a million views, folks. Just put this in perspective. You need a million views to make about a thousand, usually. Now, on watch videos, you'll make a little more. You might make two thousand because the the advertisers will pay more for ads on on watch videos because you know these are big ticket items. But typically, let's say a million views on a video, you're going to earn like two grand. So, the bottom line is, you got to have a YouTube channel. You got to be getting a ton, a ton of views to monetize this stuff and make money. Uh, doing videos on YouTube. So that ain't the ticket. There's got to be something else that you can do that uh, gets the job done. So let's take another look at the side view of the case on the uh, Titanium GS Diver, the Titan. And there's the front view of it. Macro shot. Look at that second hand just, just gliding around. So, any more bites on your watches? Not yet, but I think there will be. I'm sure there will be. All right, well, we're going to wrap pretty soon. Any, any? Do you want to run through them one more time before we wrap? 
Uh, yeah, hold on. I was just <laughs> Take your time. A, I was typing in the list, so let me go back and put it back on. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yankee Doodle has some more troll comments. Craig, your GS diver is a classless, is classless and uncouth. <laughs> Great watch, though. There you go. Uh, crypto well, is one of the few ways to make real money. I hope you mean Bitcoin, not the altcoins. They're all garbage. Uh, Milgauss, blue, white. Um, just testing. Okay. Where did you sell the 18238? Uh, a private sale. Um, so is it a great... There's a, I had a actually a friend that wanted it for a long time that stepped up and, and we did a deal. So I didn't have to pay any commissions or anything. So it's a great watch that is also classical and cool. Sounds like uh, Yankees. Okay. Look at that puppy marching along. Clivers is ignoring Craig. Craig, uh, you're not trying to be kind to one another. No, he was typing the description of the watches. He wasn't ignoring it. Craig, how many years does it take to max out my Roth IRA to become a DECA millionaire? Um, how old are you? And yet you can calculate it. There's a there's a website that you can go to. There, well, there's a bunch of them. If you just um, just Google uh, interest calculator, there's a bunch of websites you can go to where you can put in the amount of money that you're investing each year or each month or whatever time frame you want to put. And like on a Roth, depending on your age, I think you can. I can put in. I think it's seven thousand now. They upped it. Um, and I think you can put in 6500 but you need to make sure, based on your age, how much you can put in. And then just put that in the calculator and put in the, the return that you expect to get each year. And conservatively, you should be able to get 10% a year after fees if you invest wisely in, in good growth stock mutual funds. Um, and then put the term, put 30 years or whatever, and then it'll tell you what your return is. Um, and you will be amazed how it will build up. Um, I'll tell you what, Clive. Let me, um, while you're doing that, let me just do a quick calculation for them just so that um, they will know. Okay. Uh, it's not hard to do this. I'm going to do an interest calculator, and I'm going to do it based on 6,500. Um, River Max says, I have not looked at prawn today. Good job, River. However, no, that's it. Pretty much it. Good job. Okay, so we're going to start with 6,500. We're going to contribute. Um, River, you should actually be looking at watch prawn today. That's what you should be looking at. What's 6,500 divided by 12, Clive? You're good with math. Alexa, what's 6,500 divided by 12? 6,500 divided by 12 rounds to 541.667. Okay, so 541, length of time in years. Let's give them uh, 40 years, if they're, that, if they're youngsters. Alexa, tell the government how much I love them. Sorry, I don't know that one. Bullshit, you don't. Anyway. Okay. All right. So the results are, I'm sharing my screen here. All right. So here's the results. Um, here's what I put in. I put in $6,500 to start. You're going to contribute $541 a month, which is $6,500 for the year. That's your limit on a Roth IRA. Interest is 10%. Uh, compound it annually, which you'll probably do better than that, but I just put annually. Um, and I'm calculating it, and it is... In 40 years, you'll have $3.167 million. So $3,167,000 and 496.03. So you're going to have more than $3 million bucks. So you'll be, you'll be even, even then, $3 million will still be some money. Probably be like million, a million dollars now. So you'll be a millionaire. Well, you know, Archie's kind of a, he's kind of a decamillionaire. <laughs> He's decking it, and he has a million carpet beetles. That's kind of the same. Huh? There you go. There you go. Yeah. And so here, somebody brought up 
uh, cryptocurrency. Okay, so here's the thing. Bitcoin. Don't bet on any of those other horses. Those other horses aren't even in the race. They're, they're, they're glue. They're at the glue factory, okay? So Bitcoin, you've got a shot. And here's the thing. If you guys don't want to wait, if you're not as patient as what I just outlined for you, and this is not financial advice. This is what I would do in your shoes. If I was 40 years younger, okay, and I was not patient, I would still max out the Roth every year. But in addition to that, I would scrape together the money as soon as possible, and I would buy one Uno, one Bitcoin. And then I would wait for the next big run-up, the next big pump, and when that one Bitcoin gets high enough for you to buy your gold stunner, in other words, 30 grand, then sell the one Bitcoin for 30 grand and go ahead and buy your gold stunner. So basically you will have paid, like let's say you buy the Bitcoin now, it's like 3,500 bucks. You will have paid $3,500 for the gold stunner. Not a bad deal. So that's what I would do if I was not patient. What do you think about that, Clive? I think that sounds like a great idea. So that Litecoin and Ethereum are solid. No, they're, they're scams. Both of them are scams. Stay away. Roth contribution limit IRA for 2019 is 7,000 for 50, uh, for 50 plus and 6,000 for under 50. Okay, yeah, because I know I can do 7,000. So you'd have to adjust those numbers then. It'd have to bump it down to six thousand on the calculator. Let me go ahead and do that right now. I'll calculate. No, 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 no. I think we're fine. Okay, we're, we're fine. fine. Yeah, we're fine. They understand what's going on. Yes, they understand. Um, uh, Craig, please, please tell us how old your sport sports jacket is. Sixty-five years old. This is not a sport jacket. This goes with a suit. And this came from the Georgetown University shop. And I bought this in about 1982. So do the math. 1982. So however old that is. It's not young. Um, it's a classic. There you it's go. It's a perennial. Well, you, you tell me, Clive. I mean, let me point the camera down a little bit so you can see a little bit. I mean, this is not out of, out right. of style. My experience... My experience when with the other channel, when they start pointing the camera down, I start breaking out in the sweat. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm, I've got. PTSD. No, but I'm just saying you're see oh. you you can see the lapels and the style of the suit and so forth. Yeah. It's not, it's not okay. out of style, right? Right. I mean, you could buy probably pretty much the same thing today. Exactly. That's see if you buy conservative stuff, conservatively styled suits i don't know what you call this type of lapel and so on but this is the type of thing that they've made for years and years and years and will probably continue to make and so you don't have to worry about um replacing them i'm not as hard on my suits as clive is on his and i've got a lot of them so it doesn't bother me uh buy real estate fellas yeah real estate's a good i i, I have a lot of real estate i love real estate but real estate's kind of a hassle and the taxes are really getting to be a bitch. Um, the flyover states. Uh, do you have a flagpole in your front garden, Craig? Uh, please don't stand and disappoint us. Yeah, I'm not wearing the pants. No, I'm not wearing the pants. Um, no, they want to know, are you wearing pants? No, I'm not. I just said I'm not. You're not wearing pants either? No, I'm not wearing pants. Why would I wear pants? Okay. They can't see. They can't yeah, see exactly. that. Or, yeah. No. See, it's not. Yeah. It's not just the other channel. I think everyone. I think no one's wearing pants really. It's just wear and tear on the pants. Why? Why would I take the time and effort to put the pants on? I mean, come on. Let's be realistic, folks. I mean, it's not in the shot. If it's not in the shot, you don't have to wear them. Um. So, a solid tie with a striped shirt, Craig. Um, no, I'm pushing the limit here a little bit with this pattern and the, and the stripe. I'm, I'm getting a little bit frisky, you know, my Brooks Brothers shirt. And then here's the thing. 
like I said, I've got these like Popeye arms. So these damn French cuffs, I like to wear them. I like them, but they're too damn tight. See, I can barely, I can barely get the watch. And this is a small trim watch. It barely fits under this. This thing is tight. I could barely, I could barely put the, the cuff link on. Okay. So, um, but I do a lot of arm exercises and forearm exercises because I, I play a lot of tennis and that's what you need to have strong when you're, when you're hitting the ball. And also if you're strangling somebody. Right. So, so my arms, my forearms in particular are freakishly large for my size. And that's the problem. These shirts assume that that's not the case. So they don't give you enough room. So you have to get custom made shirts, which is a real problem. Um, so tattered shorts. No, I'm actually wearing a swimsuit is what I'm wearing. I wear swimsuits a lot. Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually wearing jeans. There you go. I wasn't prepared. I didn't have time to take the pants off. Craig, a Cartier would look nice with those French cuffs. There you go. Clivers does a ton of hand exercises. <laughs> I think people can still buy a house in Detroit for about a thousand bucks. Yeah, if they can get it rented and get it get it income out of that puppy. I think that was a wives' tale, though. I I went to Detroit when they when it really went to you know what when it first really went bad there. I went up there and I was looking for like a, one of those big mansions from like one of those auto guys. You know, they had those unreal homes up there. I was thinking I could buy one like cheap. Uh -huh. And um, it wasn't really. There really weren't that great of deals. Maybe it's better now. Yeah. Um, hey, it's Rolex box. Huh. You can buy a house in Detroit for a grand, but you'll be responsible for the back taxes. Uh-oh. Uh, and, and the bodies in the crawl space. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so what else? I mean, have we solved all the world's problems again? I think we have. And this might be my last broadcast for a while. I've got a video shoot tomorrow. And Monday I've got a video shoot. And then I've got a... Um, a a trainee coming on that I'm going to be teaching a lot of things and that's going to start working this, this Frederick site, hopefully. Um, you all met him on another show. Uh, Sam was, was on the show one time. He's coming. He's coming into town and he's going to take it by storm. So I'm going to be working with him and hopefully get him fully up to speed so that I can get south, Florida. Florida's beckoning me. So, um, so that's it. But uh, hopefully we're going to sell, sell some of these pieces. And when Clive gets the uh, date eight, we will definitely have a celebration show. Date eight forty. When do you think you're going to go to an AD and try one on? Um, uh, I don't know. There's like one a block away the courthouse. Literally, I'm at the courthouse like every day. I do they have forties there? I think they do. Yeah, try one on, and if you're if you're able to do that, what what are the odds that you could snap a photo of it on your wrist? I can do that. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see what it looks like on on wrist with a suit. Now, Tom, now Thomas Burnett is making a good point. You know what his point is? The Cowgirls Live Monday. Yep. You looked at the comments, didn't I you? did. I just glanced while you were saying it. I just noticed that. Cowgirls Live Monday at 10. I will be there. And by the way, Clive, did you get the um, that information on the webcam? Yes, I did. On the Logitech. I'm checking it out. Because um, I think I'm going to get one for Sarah, too. I'm, I think she's going to... I'm going to talk to her Monday about it. I think we're going to upgrade her webcam also. Because I think it makes a big difference. Did you get a chance to look at that comparison video? Uh, I did. I think it makes a big difference. I, I think you should lock and load on that. Because they also work better in low light, and your lighting's not that great. You should probably put... Like, there's like six LEDs right above me. Yeah, but you need some light coming from the front a little bit. You need a little okay. more light. 
I'll tell you what you need. You need a soft box, like what I've got. Oh, I certainly. <laughs> oh, I certainly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Totally. Take your mind out of the gutter. These things are dirt cheap. You can buy them on on uh, Amazon. But here's the we thing. Must th we must be thinking about different types of soft boxes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I am. I am absolutely thinking about different different types of soft boxes. But. Um, you want the one that takes the regular type of bulbs. Okay. Uh, and it's usually going to take like five or six bulbs in it. Um, let, me, let me find one here real quick for you here. Softbox. I'm going on Amazon. Um, it makes a huge difference. And what I did was I have two of them right here. And one of them I've got right over top of the watch that I'm showing the close-up of. Yeah. And then the other one's lighting me up. Um, oh, what the hell? I just did a softbox search and I'm not finding what I want. But anyway, I'll find it. I will find you one at some point and I'll send you a link. Because they're, they're, they're dirt cheap, literally. They're not that easy to put together. Um, they take a little bit of time to put together. But once they're put together, they're, they're cool. And they just give you yeah. nice, nice light, but but it's it's critical that you find the ones that have the um, the sockets that take just regular bulbs. So that way you can buy the the LEDs at like Costco or something that are cheap, right? And just put them right in there, um, and they work great. Yankee, Yankee Doodle says we should walk into the Rolex AD without pants. <laughs> Hey, if you've got cash and you're ready to do a deal, I don't think they'd care. Mm -mm. I think they'd be fine with with all that. Um, well, they, 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 you wouldn't have a concealed weapon. <laughs> it would be unconcealed. So there's that. Um, I'm looking through these damn lights and... Uh, Uh, they've got kits, you know, that come with the stands and everything. Right. Um, and they got the ones that take one bulb. Those are no good. I don't like those. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to send you this one. This one's a, a two-light kit for 79 bucks. Comes with bulbs, but it's regular bulbs, so you could replace the bulbs at any point. Right. Um, so let me just get this URL here for you. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the in the chat here. See if that works for you. That link. Now, blue shirt, but but where are you gonna keep your cash if you're not wearing pants? Jacket pockets. Yeah, he's gonna be wearing the jacket like I the tie shirt, just like I'm dressed, but with no pants. That works. Did that link work? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the live stream comments. Uh, I'm not sh I put it in the chat, in the Hangout chat here. Hangout window. Not seeing it so far. All right, let me email it to you. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I did. I see it just now. See if it works. Otherwise, I'll email it to you. Would it be easier for you if I email it? No. I see it. I see it. I've gone there now. Wow, that is a soft body cube tent kit. All right. And 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 here's the thing: they're real easy to put together, and the light. What happens is the light is distributed over that area, right? And that's what what why it makes it soft, right? Is right. is it that like translucent fabric that's in front of the bulbs kind of dissipates the light, and. Um, I mean, that comes with bulbs and everything. So you could use those bulbs. Those are, I don't like those CFC bulbs. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer the, the LEDs. But you could, at any point, you could just replace those four bulbs because it's regular sockets, right, right. With, with LEDs. And I like the ones they sell, the 100-watt ones that they sell at Costco. Those are the ones I like. They, they have a nice color to them. That's what I'm using right here. That's what's lighting me up. So we get you good light, we get you a good webcam, and we 
maybe that webcam, by the way, is going to have better mics built into it too than what you have now. So that might even help your audio some. But if not, we get you a nice mic, and you'll be like, like a real internet star. An internet, an internet guru. Do all YouTube watch gurus not wear pants? Um, it's a good question. All right. Well, I think we've done some damage here. Anything else you can you think we can do? No, that's about it. I just have a bunch of great vintage pieces. Contact me at Clive Watch Wrangler at gmail dot com. Clive Watch Wrangler. Now, Wrangler did, has a W and an L. Did we did we run through them again, or should we run through them one more time before we wrap? Oh, I think we've gone through them a couple. We've times, gone through so. them a couple times. I'll put yeah, some shortcut links in the description. And also, or you could watch this repeatedly until you get everything down. You can watch the same video over and over. A lot of the people are kind of disturbed, and they tend to do that. Um, so, But that's okay. It, it is what it is. If they enjoy that sort of thing. Um, thanks again for your time, Craig and Clive. There you go. Thomas said thank you. All right. So no, nobody jumped on that gold Not yet. watch? Well, here's the thing, though. It's just like, the thing is, people, they get, they get on, they're incons they don't know what they want, they're inconsistent, or they're, they hem or they're haw, and then, then, after, then it sells, someone has the kahunas to go for it, then everyone else is like, Did you have, do you still have that? I'm like, no, that was last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was such, that was such a good price. Well, why the hell did you wait? Yeah. By the way, you didn't send me the list. I thought you were sending the list. I did. I sent it to you by uh, iMessage. Oh, iMessage. Yeah. Don't you think? Didn't you hear something going? Bloop? Okay. Bloop. Um, would it be possible for you to email it to me? Because I can put it in there right now. I can, All right. I can get to my email on the same computer, and maybe I can put it in right now. Or at least I can try. Uh, okay, I thought I was going to copy and paste it, so I have to retype it again. Oh no, no, no! You don't have to retype it. You should be able to copy it from the messenger. It's in Messenger. Yeah. Messages? Me yeah, I message. Oh, wait. No, okay, now let's see, let's see if it's coming through. Did you send a response back? The trouble is, Gmail, Gmail and Apple do not like each other. You notice that? Well, they shouldn't. They're competitors. Did it come okay, up? I got it. I got it. Oh, no. It just came through as a bunch of gobbledygook. It came through as just some funny numbers. It's real strange. It's just some numbers like staggered across the page. 900, 1,000, 600, 300, 700. There's no text, no nothing. You said you sent it in messages? Yeah. Let me see if I can get... On my other computer, I could get to it easily, but this one I'm in the... We're doing all these things. Let me see what I can do here. All right. Now I, get, now I can get to it. Give me a second here. Everybody just bear with us. Technical difficulties here. We're going to get this done here. Um, Omega Seamaster with semi-integrated bracelet, 1,000 plus shipping. Oh, no, no, okay. No, let me, I'll send it again. Now, now it's coming up. Now it's working proper, so give me a second. Well, there but I, th we I think I got it in messages. Okay. I'm, I'm trying it now. Let me see if I can copy and paste this into the YouTube description, and then we can, then we'll be good. Um, if I can find the damn YouTube video here. And for some reason, 
this laptop when I'm live streaming likes to go slow. I guess my Video Pro is hogging all the bandwidth for this up uplink. Right. Um, I'm streaming at 1080p. Um, getting into my live streaming events here. I should just switch off of that for now. Just uh, you don't need to see all that. That's all boring stuff. Um, oh, events. Okay, edit. 49 people watching now. You better get up and dance or something. You know, you better entertain them. Uh-uh, no, sorry. Not on your live stream. <laughs> this, this is your channel. This is you, yours. Well. You save that for... Um, save that for the real show. I see. I, I understand. Yeah. Okay, Omega Seamaster with semi-integrated bracelet, 1,000 plus shipping. Cartier Pressure C Automatic, um, 900 plus shipping. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these each on their own individual line so that it's a little easier for people to read them here. Um, well, I guess it works. They can read it all. And they got, you, got your, you got two emails in here. You got the PayPal and the inquiry one, right? Right. So two different emails. Okay, so save changes. All right. It's in the description now. It's officially, they're officially listed for sale. Sh ship, you're addicted to live streams. Um, well, people keep asking these questions, and I want to try to get uh, clarify things if I can. And um, Clivester had some watches to sell, so we're trying to be productive here, folks. And on top of all of that, Steve who is a client oh, yeah. of mine, might be doing right. some shows. 52 people watching now. Yeah. Uh, so Steve is interested. <laughs> it's, in, all ship, it's all ship shape. Yeah, so Steve, Steve is interested in getting some gear and starting to do some live broadcasts. So um, this may have legs. We might get a, a weekly watch show going. Uh, that will be kind of interesting as opposed to these shows I've been doing. And so, so there might be some, there might be a future in this. I'll put it that way. What do you think, Clive? I think there, well, might be. It's, yeah, yeah, actually. Why not? Would you come on Steve's show? If Steve Absolutely. does a show? Absolutely. There. Absolutely, I would. There you go. So, um, all right, I put the um, I put the description of the watches in there. Uh, a TVG channel seems like all advertisements. Pretty much, yeah. It's all gone, Grand Seiko shape. Uh, Thirty-one thousand nine hundred. And 50 subscribers not watching. That's right. They don't, most of my subscribers are not into watches much. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, Craig, are you working on commission here? No, I just do all of this out of the kindness of my heart. Um, Clive, what's a good price to pay for six digit date just 36? As little as possible. That's the good one, the six digit, right? That's the newer yeah. one. Newer one, yes. Do they have solid bracelets? The six digits, generally, yes. What do you think? Four thousand for a nice one? Uh, for thirty-six, yeah, it's not bad. It also depends if it's new steel. Yeah, whole bunch of considerations, but literally, um, that'd probably be a steel one with a with a steel bracelet. I'm um, steel bezel. Right. 4,000. I guess. Yeah, smooth bezel. Yeah. Now, when did, they didn't make in the six digit, they didn't make the engine turn bezel, did they? No. That's five digit. Yeah. And four digit. 
combo meal deal. Where are the watches listed? I put it in the description of this video. Can you confirm that it's in there? Yes, I can. I believe it's in the description of this video as we speak. I've got it pulled up as we see. Yeah, it's, it was updated. <clears throat> so, and his email is there, and his PayPal email is there. So you guys have no excuses now for not locking and loading on that gold watch. That's the one that I would move on, folks. The gold watch. Uh, excuse me, the um, Tudor with the gold clad or whatever it is, right? Right. For all you Tudor guys that, that can't live without a Tudor, my gosh, that's the one I would buy. Yeah. I would not buy any of these other... You could sell it to you could sell it to Theo and Harris and make hundreds. Probably could. Probably could. Now, see, right now your live stream is extremely pixelated. Like you've got like a real lousy like uh, Wi-Fi connection or something. So we got to get you hardwired to the internet. Can you do a quick test at speedtest.net and tell me what the numbers are for your internet connection? Uh, speedtest.net we're going to get Clivester to up his game here a little bit on his broadcasting his broadcast because he's got all the personality and all the knowledge and all that but his, his, All right. his bandwidth. Craig, like, not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it's ping at 60. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the ping is, we want to know that too, the ping. We want the download speed, upload speed, and the ping. All three numbers. Ping at 62 milliseconds. That's so-so. Okay. What else? Still working on the download. Yeah, that tells me something. <laughs> God, 10.49. I should be in twice that. You should be at least 50. Should be at at least fifty. You've got some kind of dog poop internet connection. Who, who's your service provider? AT and T. Is it DSL? Yep. Oh yeah, that's garbage. Is that all that you have available where you are? There's I'll have to see. I might be able to do Cox. Cable modem. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, where that's you where want to go. Goes. DSL that's is dog great. poop. All right. Well, Craig, thanks for having me on. It's been an hour and 50 minutes. Yeah, thanks for having me on and, and torpedoing my video, my internet connection and, and my lighting and everything else, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, but at least you didn't talk crap on my watches. No, no. Well, the, my gosh, you're offering some deals on some, uh, some affordable stunners. We're going to call them affordable stunners. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. We're going to wrap up, and I'm going to go eat something, and you're going to eat something, and we're all going to be copacetic. Yep. Wavy gravy. There you go. Let me see if I can get in here to the um, correct program to terminate. The termination program. Okay. Connection lost. There we go. That makes sense. So, folks, Monday night... Monday night, there will be a live stream, and hopefully the next one Monday, maybe we'll have her upgraded webcam. We're going to talk about that on Monday night, and so that will be cool. And we're also going to test her internet connection to make sure she's got adequate bandwidth for this broadcasting. So, all right, what are you laughing about, Clive? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to stop the broadcast. Complete event.